Happy Halloween. If your kids haven't already been out there, this weekend they'll get out there tonight. And that means bags and bags full of candy. Chances are you're going to indulge. But if you can, if you do indulge, how can you burn those calories off? Fitness expert Stephanie Mansour is here. She's going to tell us exactly what 200 calories of our favorite candy looks like. And she has some tips on how we can work it off all right here this morning. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Good. Happy yeah. Halloween. Thank you. And right back at you. Nice <laughs> to see you. All right. So, 200 calories is what we're supposed to try to limit ourselves to with the Halloween candy? You, it would be a good target number good target. to hit. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want to feel deprived. So, you know, psychologically, right. if I tell you you cannot have this, right. you want, want all, all of this. Of yeah. yeah. And then Even more. if Smarties aren't your favorite, you still want Doesn't those, matter. right? I'll eat them, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, what's 200 calories? Yeah. So, 200 calories. So, these Twix bars would be two of them, approximately, is 200 calories. Yeah. Moving on, same thing with the Snickers, two of those. That's 200. Right? I know, but one thing about the Snickers, there are some peanuts in there, so right. it adds a little bit of protein, so while it's kind of high for calories for just two, it's okay a little bit, you know, because right. you're getting that protein in. Let me just say real quickly, <laughs> on non-Halloween, this for me is barely enough, right? Really? So like, I okay. Want the whole, but <laughs> you kind of have to accept, all right? So if I'm really going to try to stick to 200, what right. else does it get? Yeah. Here? So then we can have three of these servings, uh, three fun size packs of M&Ms. Yeah. Also, and when you say fun size, we should clarify it's fun for some, but right. really not fun for very many right, whatsoever. Right. <laughs> I don't know who defines One at fun a time, there. not a handful. Right. You know, yeah. <laughs> three of the three Musketeer bars right. is about 200 You're a calories. Bit more bang for your buck there. Exactly. Same thing with the Kit Kats. So three of those. All right. Now moving on, these almond. Joys. These are dangerous, but these are my favorite. Yeah, they're so great. only two of these hits 200 calories. But they have some so, nuts in it, so you yes. feel like, hey, I'm eating like a healthy candy bar. Exactly, and the coconuts in there, it's nice and creamy. And now these Laffy Taffies are actually, you get a lot of these for 200 yeah, calories. Suck, so though. you don't like them? No one likes those, oh, yeah. There's I no do. Chocolate. You okay. like them? You're the one. All right. So All right, you get so half a dozen of those. Right, or? exactly. Six of those. All right. And then moving on, these little Reese's mini cups. So seven of these. All right, so let's get all these. Sounds you don't nice want to miss you don't want to miss one there. So there we unfulfilling. Go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's it. Okay, and then eight of these Smarties. So wow. that, that's a lot, but this is jam-packed full of sugar. So the key to not eating too much candy is to really start yourself off for success in the morning and eat protein. So you want to wow. have protein every few hours throughout the day. And that's going to keep you from running the candy. However, think twice because in order to burn off 200 calories, you need to ride yep. on the bike at the gym for about 30 minutes at a moderate intensity. So All right, so if I don't want these to count after I ride on a bicycle at the gym for 30 minutes. Right, exactly. Right, if I want to eat two of these, then I've got a, a full hour. Right, exactly. Just for that. Well, that seems a little So that's 60 that's minutes of exercise it. right there. It is. Now, something that's interesting to note, if you yes. wanted to really step it up, so let's say you want to do some strength training, All right, 15 yeah. minutes of squats, so straight Ooh. squats, working the biggest muscles in the body, yeah. the legs, that's going to burn 200 calories. But uh -huh. when we're talking the upper body, yeah. yeah, when we're talking upper body exercises, these are smaller muscles, so it's going to take you about 40 minutes of push ups, pure wow. push ups, to burn 200 40 minutes, calories. 40 minutes of push ups. Larry, <laughs> what's the longest you've ever done push ups for? Push ups, uh, yeah. just six or seven hours. <laughs> yeah, Larry, just six lost track. You can have three of these candy bars then, Larry, you'll be all right. All right, it's worth it. Similarly, so you can combine strength training with cardio. So the cardio, okay. you know, it takes a little bit longer to burn 200 calories, but when you come Combine it with strength training, it takes only about 20 minutes for a high intensity interval training workout to burn the 200 calories. It's a lot of work. I know, but are you a yogi? No. Okay, well, if you are a yogi, you can do a 30 minute vinyasa yoga class. That'll oh, yeah. burn you the 200 calories. Also, if you're grocery shopping, 45 minutes, good. 45 minutes grocery shopping, carrying your bags, yeah. going upstairs, let's all say right. you live in a walk up, yeah. and then putting the groceries away, that'll burn you 200 oh, calories all right, too. I might be able to do that. <laughs> all right, tell us about your 21 day challenge. Yes, we have a free 21 day weight loss challenge. You'll get food tips, workout tips, and confidence boosting exercises, and it's all at stepituppchallenge.com. All right, stepituppchallenge.com. Stephanie, thanks so much. Appreciate you coming in here this morning. Of course. And thanks for bringing all this candy. It's delightful. <laughs>